Mm. So toffee and caramel with the finish there with some beautiful, beautiful smoke and some peat minerals. That's a lovely finish guys. Really promising finish. Well, good day everybody and welcome to my channel Whiskey Journey. Today I've got another single malt scotch whiskey review for you guys. So today I'm going to be reviewing the 2023 release of the Springbank 18. Managed to get a, a 5CL sample from a shop and um, obviously wasn't able to secure a bottle. Uh, very difficult to get as usual, um, but I'm quite happy just to get the um, the 5CL sample to be honest, just to try it out and uh, see see what we get with this uh, with this year's 18 year old. Um, so um, yeah, so my understanding is with the cost makeup for this release, 65% sherry, 20% bourbon, and 15% rum costs. Yeah, so um, as usual, I'm just gonna go straight onto the tasting notes with this. I'm quite looking forward to trying this one, to be honest. It's been a while since I've, I've had an 18 year old, I think. So let's just see what we get on the nose then, shall we? Okay, so this has been sitting now for about 15 to 20 minutes in the glass and um, it's taken a wee while just for the notes to settle down and um, yep, so straight up I'm getting red fruits um, strawberries definitely it's um, a bit of a classic note when it comes to the 18 year old and sherry casks with sherry cask maturation in my opinion I always get strawberries with the 18 year old. There's some cranberry as well. There's some honey. There's some um, some dried fruit character as well with the sherry casks, but um, in my opinion, certainly not not dominating in in any way whatsoever. I'm getting some um, some mineral aspect as well with this. Um, some chalky pebbles. Mm, that strawberry note is just divine. There is some hints of earth as well, some rich soil. And the funky sort of, the farmy funky character that you get from Springbank. Um, very subdued on this one, but it's definitely still there, which is a good thing, in my opinion. Obviously it doesn't have quite the funk that you get from the 10 year old, in my opinion, but that doesn't matter. A little bit of wet wool. Yeah, that wet wool sort of character that you get from Springbank um, is quite prominent. There's a touch of smoke and peat as well. A typical sort of Campbelltown soot, sooty sort of aspect to it. Yeah, so in short, guys, really, really promising nose. Um, really, really nice. As I say, the sherry character, uh, though it's 65%, doesn't dominate this, this dram, in my opinion. Just very well balanced, in my opinion. Okay, let's just have a wee taste then. Mmm. Mmm. So toffee and caramel with the finish there with some beautiful, beautiful smoke and some peat minerals. That's a lovely finish guys. Really promising finish. Very good. Um, so the initial palette, the mouthfeel for me 
Zetatsin still comes across as medium bodied, but I would prefer a more sort of fuller, um, more mouth coating um, initial palette in my opinion. It doesn't quite have that, but it doesn't matter too much to me um, because the flavors are just really good. So on the palette, getting those red fruits, strawberry, it's very, very sweet, sweet or starts out sweet. Now becoming a hint of bitterness there and a little bit of sourness as well, a bit of tartness, just to balance things out a wee bit. Loads of minerals, um, that chalky um, pebble um, element. Um, there's some maritime influence, fishiness, but a smoked fish. Um, some sea breeze, uh, some seashells, um, and then in the finish, it just puffs of puffs of smoke and peat. A little bit drying as well on the palate in the end, but um, mm, still getting some of that dried fruit character as well, for, which I assume will be is from the sherry casks. But again, that's just a lovely palate, and once again for me. Um, the sherry cask doesn't seem to be over, you know, dominating the spirit at all. It still feels quite distillate lead, this one, in my opinion. Um, still getting a lot of great aspects that I get from Springbank, just the distillate. So the, um, the cask influences are quite subtly done and quite um, intricately done, in my opinion. There's a little bit of tropical fruit as well, I didn't mention. Just a, just a hint of uh, pineapple. Um, as well, and a little bit of vanilla as well, just on on the finish. But that's really, really lovely. Um, as I say, the, the mouthfeel is just a tad thin for me, but um, otherwise, that's just a really, really enjoyable dram, guys. I'm just going to add one drop of water, no more than one drop, and see if we get any changes on the palate at all. Right, so that drop of water, I'm getting, it's become a touch herbal. A bit of, um, a bit of nuttiness, perhaps some walnuts. Still getting the smokiness and the peat. Earthiness as well is still, and that rich soil element is still there. Red fruits. Strawberries. That strawberry note is becoming quite uh, quite prominent. Um, very very sweet. Just beautiful. A bit of caramel toffee. Almost like um, oh, I can't think of that sweet that you get now. A tablet, Scottish tablet. That's it. A bit of hay, a bit of farminess, honey, beeswax. and more minerals as well. It's just it's a, a gorgeous, gorgeous nose. Right, let's just get onto the palette again, shall we? Just for that drop of water. Mm. Mm. Again, that that peat and smoke on the finish is really prominent. Um, it's really strong. It's lovely, though. I'm quite surprised, actually. I didn't expect to get much, as much peat and smoke from the 18-year-old as I'm getting on this one, on this particular uh, release. So. 
Mm, beautiful minerals as well in the background as well there. So with water, um, I don't think it's changed too much. Um, I only added that one drop anyway, so it's, I don't think it's going to make any significant drip, significant difference. I just didn't want to add too much water because I don't want this dram to fall apart um, because I'm enjoying it so much. But again, initial palette. I think the only, as I've said with the first um, the first sip, the only um, minor negative that I've got is I don't feel the mouthfeel is 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 that great. I think it's I think it's got quite a it's quite a thin mouthfeel. It, I mean, there is a little bit of viscosity there, but after having that Jura 27 year old the other day from Whiskey Sponge, I mean, that just opened my eyes up to what a mouthfeel, uh, what an oily, um, waxy mouthfeel feels like. And this one for me just, um, just, um, it's just a little bit, just a little bit thin, but that's not a huge issue, as I said, because the flavors are just great. So on the palate again, getting those red fruits, beautiful strawberries, some vanilla, some honey, some caramel fudge, um, a little bit of dried fruit character with a sherry cask, and then some minerals, a chalkiness, pebbles, maritime influence, brine, and then beautiful, beautiful finish, sweet, with a little bit of bitterness from the wood, but lovely peat, lovely smoke, a lot peaty and smokier than I was expecting, and it's pleasant surprise uh, for me personally. The finish, um, I wouldn't say this goes on forever, so it's not the longest finish that I've had, but, um, so I would say about a medium finish, but it's still just, just a lovely, lovely dram. Um, and as I've said before, 65% um, sherry. Um, I probably wouldn't have said it had that um, high amount of uh, sherry cask influence. But I think that the sherry notes are there more in the background for me. And it just allows the distillate to shine. As I said, um, I love that you've got that smokiness and peatiness with the 18 year old. I haven't always got that, um, but it still has all the classic notes that you'd expect from a, a Springbank 18 inch sherry cask with strawberries and red fruits, lovely earthiness and a hint of that uh, typical farm funk that you get from Springbank. A really, really excellent release, and um, yeah, I highly recommend it. If you can get a sample of it, you should definitely try it. I'm not sure I would buy a bottle, though. That's the only thing. Um, I'd buy a bottle at retail, probably, but um, trying to get this at retail is going to be very difficult, in my opinion. Okay. Anyway, guys, as I said, that's the Springbank 18 2023 release. 65% sherry, 20% bourbon, 15% rum cask, and highly, highly enjoyable. Okay, guys, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoy my content, then please like, uh, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's always appreciated. But as usual, guys, there's nothing much else to say except have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all again soon. Take care, guys. Cheers.